Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about a trip I just had, and that was to Dubai. As you can see here, we first stopped off at a place called Blue Water, which is a nice place with very scenic buildings and nice restaurants. We went to a nice French bakery there that had great desserts. The name does not come to mind right now, but I'll see if I can find that for you. Then we actually stayed at the Emirates Tower Station. We stayed at a hotel there, uh, great hotel, great service, which was really close to the, right across the street from, from the Museum of the Future. We also had a chance to go to the Atlantis. We thought it was great. Um, if you want to compare it to the water parks, like Six Flags, I don't think it's as good. They do have much less rides, but I really like the aquarium there. The aquarium there was really nice. The views were amazing. And the restaurants were pretty good there too. They had a nice Malaysian restaurant there. Definitely check that out and go. Also had the chance to go to the largest mall in the world, the Dubai Mall. Nice, huge mall, of course. We took our son to a little indoor amusement park, sort of, that had nice little rides, had video games, of course, and kind of like uh, Andretti's or Dave and Buster's, but, but had more rides for kids. Also had the chance to go to City Walk Dubai. Now, it's pretty amazing what they've done there. They have like huge screens on buildings and they show like cartoons and different types of advertisements, but it's so amazing how everything is so, uh, there's got lights and they got water show going on and everything is like uh, coordinated within that short movie. Uh, we got to go to a nice little cafe there called Saya had great desserts, so check that out, S-A-Y-A, -A. really good. We also got to check out their metro station, which is really nice, very futuristic. However, I would recommend taking a taxi there. I felt that was a lot cheaper than rideshare and even the trains, and it takes you right to the front door, so definitely take their taxis, it's cheaper. You'll save money, you can use that money towards eating more. Yeah. We went to the Museum of the Future. Uh, really nice building. Inside is pretty nice also. However, I do feel they need to update their content, which I'm sure they will because it's, it's a pretty new museum. So they will at some point, I'm sure, add more content to their the exhibits they have in there. Definitely a lot of sights to see in there. Next up, I think was the highlight of my trip in Dubai was the Global Village. Global Village is amazing. Just the sights, just just how they built all the small little pavilions there. Just amazing. It just lit up, just lights up the whole sky there. And basically what it is, is multiple pavilions there representing each country and you just go in there and you can buy different things that are from that country. Also within the Global Village are different small shops where you can eat any kind of food out there. They also have a, uh, a stage there where there's a lot of performances. So a lot of top notch performances there. Um, so great dancers and singers and all that you can enjoy there at Global Village. And last but not least, we went to the Desert Safari. Of course, that included some ATV riding, of course, but you got to pay additional for that, like 250 dirhams. Um, and then it also included um, riding through the desert in one of their eight um, SUVs. So that was pretty fun. And then at the end of the night, you have a little dinner where they have performers like belly dancers and other fire dancers, performers. That was really fun. Um, we didn't get to get go to the Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest building in the world and has great fountain shows in the front. 
So hopefully we will get to that next time. But if you go, definitely check that out. Thank you for watching.